welcome back to Dr. Dr. Noah's YouTube update, and we're going to talk a little bit about oxidative stress uh, in terms of impact of a particular type of problem called fibromyalgia. Boy, I've seen this being in, in the uh, natural uh, field industry for over 30 years. This has gone and gone all over the map like that. Uh, originally, because it's a syndrome, most drug doctors can barely focus on one drug, one problem. So if you come in with lots of different problems, what they always do is blow you off. Oh, well, you know, and it's mostly women as we'll talk about, oh, go see the psychiatrist. Well, we've, I've done studies, you know, and I've, done, I've talked about studies showing that fibromyalgia is a definitely, a, definitely a, a, a particular physiological, both plus and also psychological factors. Devastate people, I've seen it over the years, high-powered attorneys, doctors, high professionals like that, burnout, develop fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, which kind of goes along like that, and once again become total invalids. I mean, they're just totally incapacitated, totally disabled. So big factor like that. Once again, drug companies have nothing and drug doctors have nothing to do for it, except just once again, throw lots of drugs. Great success in my practice and other people over the years there. So fibromyalgia is, once again, general weakness and stiffness, at least for uh, three anatomical sites. Actually, there's, there's a, um, a number of points that we have to do. You have to have six or more of them for more than three months. And you have fatigue, headaches, can't sleep, neurological and psychological complaints, numbness and tingling, irritable bowel syndrome, and variations of activities of stress and depression. So if you have more than those, you have fibromyalgia. So it's a, it's a devastating type of problem. It's once again, there's no type of, definitely no solution in terms of drugs. They just once again go over all the different symptoms and give you all the drugs. And of course, you never get better. So unfortunately, I go through the science. What does the science say? Well, oxidative stress, as we've talked about many, many times, over 200 diseases, fibromyalgia is a big flag effect. Free radical and antioxidants in primary fibromyalgia. This was published in Rheumatology in, 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 uh, International Drug Journal. And they discuss that increased free radical levels are responsible for the development of fibromyalgia. Did you hear that? that maybe, could be, uh, let me see what my drug rep tells me uh, and gives me a kickback so I can go to a nice little vacation, pay for it by all the drug companies uh, before I kill my patients. Read it again. Increased free radical levels are responsible for the development of fibromyalgia. Thank you. So if you're able to decrease oxidative stress down to a baby in 30 days, that will have a major impact in your terms of your health and well-being. There's no drug that can do anything like that. So that's what's so kind of exciting in terms of helping people get better. Uh, another article in Rheumatology International, it's not my journal, it's not, I'm a natural medicine doctor, these are drug companies. Current concepts in the pathophysiology, that's what causes the problem, of fibromyalgia, the potential role of oxidative stress in nitric oxide. Now, once again, there's another little thing, nitric oxide, which oxidative stress has a factor. Uh, there's another product that uh, Cindy and I and, and other people know using arginine, special blend from a doctor uh, here on, uh, in the Bay Area that works great for uh, nitric oxide. So those are some of my tools that I use for fibromyalgia and they get better because, yeah, I do the science. I read the science. The scientists say this helps. You correct the problem and you get better. Unlike here, Mrs. Jones, take some more drugs. I'm making lots of money. You're on 35 drugs. Oh, good. Now my children can go to college all paid by the drug companies. Nice. Oh, you're still sick. I've seen you for 20 years. You keep getting sick. How do you look at yourself in the mirror looking at these patients year after year getting worse? And what have you done? Nothing. Terrible. Really want to know how I feel about that? Thanks. Another study here uh, in Redox Report, which is a more chemical journal. Redox has to do with uh, different types of chemical reactions like that. Uh, they show that you know, supplementation of antioxidants uh, in the therapy is indicated. That's right, didn't say uh, you should think about it, is indicated in terms of helping that. So that's the, what's so confusing to me. I read the scientific literature. I understand how this works. My patients get better. But once again, I don't have the access in terms of all the money that's wasted on all this crap that doesn't work. So the big thing is to correct this whole type of healthcare system is real simple. Give everybody, once again, X amount of dollars. We'll say $10,000. And if you want to go see your drug doctor, the quack, who once again spends $90,000, $80,000 a year, oh, you only have $10,000. Maybe you wouldn't go to see him or her. But right now, it's a blank check. Oh, I don't have to worry. I don't care how much. You ask your drug doctor, how much does this actually cost? They don't even know because they're not in reality. They, once again, bill out all these enormous type of things. We know we don't have the money because of debt, and that becomes a problem like that. 
is that so if everybody had, you know, once again, you have this in your account, and if you want to go see a specialist for $800 an hour that does nothing, maybe you would never ever do that again. But you'll keep going to these specialists because, yeah, you're on Medicare, Medi-Cal, you have insurance. I don't pay. That's why I live. I don't pay for that because I don't pay $90,000. Well, that's right, Mary. You don't. That means either I do or my grandkids or my great-great-grandkids are going to have to pay for it because that is an IOU. That's the big problem. As Don, Cindy's wife, uh, 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 told me about it, was, is that this would be like having a family that's making fifty to $58,000 a year. Okay? So unlike the government like that, you are, once again, spending seventy-eight dollars to $80,000 a year. Guess what? You'd be bankrupt real quick. But that's what the government's doing. So when your drug doctor is having these expensive things that don't work, that's putting in the IOU. Plus, you'd have a credit card debt that's right around three hundred and twenty dollars to $330,000. No one in, on earth can survive that, Well, uh, except for the government. And that's what the big discussion about the national debt is. It's a big, once again, Ponzi scheme. We take the money in now, we give big, big people with their hats on backwards, watch some TV, which we already talked in another video, for every you know, hour you watch, you lose 22 minutes of your life. Uh, watching that kind of garbage that has no benefit, and then you're just happy, you vote for these, these criminals that say, yeah, hey, we'll keep doing this. Uh, so, so that's what the real cause of the healthcare crisis is, is that people don't have any type of concept of how much it costs. It doesn't really matter if it works, because everyone's getting, everyone is all doped up, so it doesn't matter if, you know, the, the common drunk down at the bar who's drunk all the time like that, tragic. That's what everybody else who is on medication. That's what drugs are. Alcohol and a pill. It makes you drunk. Sure, when you're drunk, all your problems go away until you wake up the next morning with a hangover. That's side effects for the drug. And it doesn't get to the cause of the problem and causes more problems. So make me the czar of health. And within 24 hours, health and prosperity will happen in terms of the healthcare system. Vote for me. Thanks.